Wars are fought among the people and the principal casualties more and more are the civilians just caught up in the middle. And this is what we are seeing now in Ukraine with a massive movement of refugees. First of all, they need safety. They need what are called blue spaces. That's the term that UNICEF uses in Ukraine. A place where they can get a kind of normality. They can play with each other. They need to be safe. They need to be away from the guns. We've supported funding. People have sent clothes. Many of our people, in fact, have supported people to come and live in their houses and flee from the situation that's in Ukraine itself. Obviously, we've been working with local agencies on the ground immediately, but the next step for us is the mental health issues that come with that. Governments cannot alone fix these issues. And so it calls on some private companies like we are to stand up and do our job. When we speak about social responsibility and what uh, companies should do, this is absolutely for us a part of the social responsibility agenda. I mean, this is a duty. I mean, this is something that we have to give to the society, to the people around us. Apart from supplies, they need psychosocial support. As you've said, they've been experiencing extreme events and the trauma is important there. So their well-being is important and we need to access those children as quickly as we can so that we can manage that situation and they can then get over it and thrive and develop properly. We're trying to gather forces, financial resources, skills and capabilities to help into Ukraine for a medical emergency and for these corridors to allow the people to leave the war zones uh, and get to the border. We're launching with UNICEF the Global Coalition of the Youth Mental Wellbeing aimed at making sure that 30 million people in 30 countries by 2030 are given the support they need so that no one ever needs to say again that they can't express their feelings, that they can't share their concerns and they can't get the mental health support that they need. We're very proud and excited about the partnership with the Zedzerich Foundation because it's focused on the long term. It's not just about providing emergency support in a crisis, armed conflict situation or an emergency. It's really about looking into the long term effects and how we can help a children and their families move forward. We can only imagine what these children are going through, but they're going through something that no child should ever have to go through, which includes the loss of their childhood. This is one of the reasons I joined UNICEF. I think we all have responsibilities to do what we can to help.